All right, so we got a 2003 GMC Sierra Duramax um, extended cab. So what we're doing here is we're replacing the front bumper because it was a little chewed up from the previous owner and after, you know, 12 years of being on the car, it was just a little chewed up. So uh, we had some cracks on it. So I just went ahead and bought a, um, a new one. It's not the uh, from GM, but it's the exact same bumper. Um, we just sprayed a fresh coat of paint on it, a uh, base coat, the color code. We used that right paint, and we're putting clear coats of clear coat on it right now. Um, let me show you real quick on uh, what you need to do to get this off. First things first is you need to understand the way these pins work. Um, they are pushed all the way down inside on the truck. They're pushed down inside and that's what's holding the bumper up. So what you need to do is you need to stick a screwdriver in that little notch there that you can see. That's the visible part. Twist it around, twist it around and pull this middle piece out. And what you'll be left with is one of these little things that pulls out. And then when you pull the bumper off, you're able to find the other part, which is this. See that? And so that's how that comes off. And these are placed all over the place under here. You can't really see very well here, but they're placed all along under here, under the truck. And my specific, specific model has the uh, fog lights on it, so make sure you get the right bumper if you're doing that. And it also had this on here too, which is just a little plastic piece that fills in the extra gap there. But uh, pretty simple, you take those off. Another thing to be aware of is the pins on the side, which you'll see right here. And the way these pins work, there's three of them on each side, is your bumper has a piece of plastic sticking off the side of it, it snaps into here, and these little teeth grab onto it. So when I removed the other bumper, I just went ahead and went behind here and used a screwdriver and just kind of pried them from the back side, pulled the whole metal thing out. This one stayed in because the plastic piece had broken off. That's why we're replacing the bumper. All right, quick update. Um, I got the bumper painted. Looks good. Um, I use spray cans of paint, honestly. Does it look perfect? No, but from a distance, it looks perfect. Um, I went ahead and installed some, uh, I remember the brand, they were like 30 bucks on Amazon Prime. Um, they were some square LEDs, they had pretty great reviews. Um, the only thing is people said water get in them sometimes, so I went ahead and siliconed around uh, the wires and things like that. I think they look pretty sweet. Um, like I said, they were 30 bucks. Mine were fogged up real bad. Mud on the inside of them, and so I just went ahead and swapped those out while I had the bumper off, made it a lot easier. Um, Right now I'm just sticking the uh, push pins back on and I'll climb under the truck and show you a little bit. So there's one of the holes. We've got one of the plugs here ready to go. Preloaded. Go ahead and place it in place. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure you get it in place as I did there. Then we're gonna go ahead and just pop that into place. And it's just as simple like that. You gotta go along and put them all back on. I've already put a couple of them on. Um, and just back. Alrighty, so we got it all finished up. Uh, got the bumper put on. Some of the pins in uh, these regions are really tough to get on. Um, they just take some time if you really want to get them back on. The bumper holds up fine. I took advantage uh, of having the bumper off and not having to mask anything. Went ahead and reshot those with just the semi gloss black rosoleum. Just so they look fresh. Like I said, I installed these LEDs. They're just little four inch fog light LEDs. Uh, I went with square just because I kind of wanted to see what it looked like and I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, next I'll be getting the light bar and some sort of uh, headlights to balance it out. Um, those of you who want to know, it's an 03 GMT Sierra Duramax on the 20 inch XD series rims. Uh, I've got five inch straight pipe turbo back exhaust. SUV cold air intake, uh, to top it off. More videos to come about the Duramax um, and other
favorite cars, please subscribe, comment, let us know if there's anything you want to know how to do and we can let you know. Um, thanks.